Assalamualaikum So for today we will continue with our lecture in the video series ITS 462 Fundamental of AI uh, Chapter Logic Predicate Calculus and Resolution Reputation if we have the time to slot it in So uh, we begin with uh, chapter 3 Logic So we have already done uh, the introduction of logic Propositional logic, connective, truth table, equivalence, and or graph, reasoning, inference techniques. And then for the last week, I've already introduced you with the predicate calculus. How to transform between the sentences to predicate calculus. So here we have uh, also how to transform uh, between uh, how to transform between uh, English language sentences into predicate calculus and also how to perform reasoning inference in predicate calculus so we have modus ponens modus tollen and then we also have hypothetical syllogism and then for the reasoning you have abductive reasoning inductive reasoning and so on so uh, for today we will continue with uh, practice make perfect that is um, um, the exercise that would help you to prepare to do your assignment so uh, on to the exercise so let's look into this exercise so I understand that we have already done this exercise but uh, nevertheless uh, I think we shall continue with the uh, we shall repeat back uh, the exercise just for the sake of uh, clarity so let's enlarge uh, the screen okay view all right okay for the exercise so we have one two three four and so forth so let me enlarge the size screen size uh, for you to be able to learn this much more comfortably so uh, let's start with apples are food so find the one that are most general so food okay make sure that you type it in lower case form and then you put it apple second chicken are food so chicken and then you have uh, bills like ice cream so likes bill here ice cream and then fourth uh, bill is tall so tall side here you put bill so bill study A12 studies uh, bill A12 so and then six so for number six Kristen Dunst is an actress so actress Kristen uh, Dunst so you could write it like here like this one so Popeye loves spinach so love uh, Popeye you can uh, write like this spinach egg Dave never eat boils egg so eat Dave boil eggs so uh, never means uh, negate or not you put a negation over here so number nine Bill takes Edam cheese so takes Bill Edam cheese so for some uh, you may uh, omit the underscore so it is just a force of habit So, um, we look into a new uh, sentences to be uh, transformed into predicate calculus. The umbrella is red in color. So, red, uh, sorry, uh, you can uh, depend on the um, situation. So most of the time, you would describe the umbrella is red, just like this. 
Eleven. Uh, Stalin was a direct di dictator and not an ancient Greek. So was means that Stalin is no longer among us. Mean he has already passed away. So dictator. Okay, Stalin is a dictator. And ancient Greek. Okay, Stalin is an ancient Greek, but we put here not, okay, the modifier not. So, not, we put here not. So, you have uh, you have it like this. Stalin is a dictator and not ancient Greek. Twelve. Bill. Sorry, <laughs> it's already uh, auto number over here. Okay, it. Peanut and still alive. So Bill is the one who are still alive. So for thirteen, you have Rudolph is a reindeer. So Rudolph is the subject. So it is a reindeer. Actually, this is the proper way to spell reindeer. It's not R-E-I-N because R-E-I-N is actually raining, yeah? raining. And then you have comma over here, right? Comma over here. Rudolph has red nose. So comma means uh, another sentences or another um, predicate calculus. So has a red nose. So red nose Rudolph. Okay, remember, do not capitalize your subject because if you capitalize it, uh, it represents a variable. But this is, uh, Rudolph is a form of, um, uh, it's not a variable, it is a form of, uh, uh, it's a form of, uh, Immutable, okay, is a form of immutable uh, uh, subject. So um, next we skip to fourteen. So number fourteen. Every child loves Santa. So child. So remember back, you have a universal uh, symbol for every, all, and some. So child. So, if you want to include every child, you have to put a universal symbol like this. So, this means that all child or every child. And then, love Santa, you convert it like this. Okay, X. Okay, where X is replaced uh, by child. Okay, V, X like this, X, Santa. So, we have here. Every child loves Santa. Where this act can be changed, uh, can be uh, substituted with the word every children. Okay, every child. Okay, every child. Or you can say that all children. So this would be uh, plural form. All children. Every child. So, all children. So, you have here X. Every man love a tasty apple. So, you have here man. X. So, every man. So, you put over here love. X. Tasty apple. All animal eat custard. So animal, you put it as all. Eat custard. Okay, so you can substitute this as all. X over here, X over here, 
is something that uh, can be replaced so x here replace not only one but it, it replace all okay so this one read as all animal so you, you have to read it also as all animal it casted so for 17 all humans are mortal oops uh, still on the highlights human mortal so x so you replace here as all human so x over here can be read as all human okay all human okay all human ah huh? mortal so you please say with X, X. All Welsh people are British. So, Welsh is a island on the British Isle. So, Welsh is part, part of British. Okay, British Isle. So, all Welsh people are British. Okay, according to this sentence, but if you ask real Welsh people, they normally won't associate, uh, rarely they would associate themselves with British. So, British. So, you write it like this. Okay, all Welsh are British. All rich people pay taxes. So all rich people. Okay. Ali is a rich people. Abu is a rich people. So you put here universal X mean all rich people pay taxes. Right. Okay, for some they would rather write something like this which are more much more general sometimes okay you can read it uh, like this okay uh, this is all according to your context okay context tengok pada context so all rich people pay taxes okay pay tax or taxes everybody loves somebody so we have already covered this uh, in the lecture last week love somebody so somebody symbol is uh, like this so everybody loves somebody john likes all kind of food so okay this is a trick um, sentences so you have to write it like this all food okay remember which uh would require a universal uh, modifier so all food so all food right you have here all food so you have likes john so john oh so you have your john likes all food okay if you read it like this you can see that john like all food 22 so it's everything that be eats so you have to look uh, which uh, come first okay in um, in this situation you have to look uh, whatever come first so this is a quick question So, uh, Bill, so you have to reconstruct it one by one like this. Bill eat peanut. So, uh, Sue also will eat peanut. Okay. So, if uh, Bill eat uh, cake, so Sue also will eat cake. 
So if Bill eat fries, Sesu will also eat fries. Eh, fries. Hmm. So it means that whatever Bill eats becomes whatever Sue eat. So if Bill eat anything, that would also imply uh, Sue also eat. That particular things, but the reverse is not necessarily true. So remember that you have a uh, one-way arrow. It means that whatever Bill eats means that Sue eats, but does not necessarily means that whatever Sue eat Bill will eat. So it has the probability, but does not necessarily means like that. So you have to write like this. So whatever Bill eats. Sue would eat. Okay, can be read like that. So, this is another trick question. Oh, okay, let's move it a little bit. So, anything anyone eats and isn't killed by is food. So let's try to do it the safer way. So Bill eat peanut, and then you have another component, isn't kill by. So you have kill by. And then you put not okay not kill by. Peanut. So you can read it like this. Bill eat peanut. Bill isn't kill by peanut. So therefore, peanut is. Food, so peanut is food. So you can write it like this. So peanut. So replace replace bill with x and peanut with y. You can place like this. X, y. And then because peanut is y, okay, it is written like this. Anything means uh, universal. V X V Y, okay, or inverted A, X and inverted A Y. So you have anything isn't ki killed by uh, anything anyone eats, and isn't killed by. So you put here N. Is food. Okay, food peanut is food. Every apple is either green or yellow. So you can put your apple green or apple yellow. Okay, uh, the problem is that you do not know, uh, you cannot replace this. Okay, so but many one, uh, yeah, they lay lane. So because you want it, uh, every apple is green or yellow. You may also have uh, to put uh, something like this X, okay, X, and then X, Y. So apple can be green, and then apple color can be yellow. So this is one way to write it. Also, there is a uh, other way also you can write this, okay, depending, again, depending on the context of the question. So you will typically will be given a, a case study uh, for this uh, matter. So you can write it like this: apple. Also, every apple would be green or yellow. So you put have uh, you can put a green or color X. Yellow, okay. So apple color is green. Apple color is yellow. Also can be written like this. Oh, but the fingers. So, uh, for the last one uh, on this segment, 
you have no person like smart vegetarian so no person would like vegetarian all right so we would like uh, something like this for number 25 so no person would like a smart vegetarian so person so you have uh, to put here every person so you have here as every person so no person means that nobody so here no person nobody okay nobody like smart vegetarian so nobody likes smart vegetarian you can write it like this so we are going to take a break so let's uh, see you on the next uh, segment so the next segment we will continue on uh, uh, this part or this lecture on uh, answering uh, much more challenging uh, uh, predicate calculus so let's do uh, on the next segment we will try to do number 40 and above okay number 40 and above okay this one uh, uh, much more challenging so be seeing you on the next segment <laughs>